Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a little glam. So I think I'm gonna go in with friendcation. I think I'm gonna start with that one, but we're just we're just gonna glam today. We're gonna chat. I'm doing um an eyeshadow base. This is the one that I've been using lately. I really, really like it. Oh, let me just grab this one. This is the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer in the shade Rose, which I do wanna get the other colors. I have rose, black, and white. Rose actually um, goes with my skin tone pretty well. It's not like really, really pink, but I have been liking it to use as an eyeshadow base lately. So that is great because it doesn't make my eye look really dry. If you saw my hands right now, well, you can see my hands, but if you felt my hands, she's dry. She's very dry. So this is the e.l.f. Putty Primer and I'm using the Sigma Precision Brush. This is one of those like uh, 4D HD. It was like shaped like a pyramid, but it's kind of smashed. So Junes and I are gonna be talking about some things, you know, maybe tips to staying productive at home or tips to like, if you don't wanna be productive, how to embrace that. Because I think that's important too. We have those resources. We have, yeah. So I'm gonna use Frankation. I'm gonna start with Basic um, and then I'm gonna go in with Necessary. All right, so this is what I'm trying to implore. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. For me, I'm trying to get dressed every day. That's a step. Oh, is that why you were dressed all cute today? Yeah, that's why I'm all cute right now. If I'm wearing sweats, it's staying home time, basically. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? That's how I look at them, you know? So you're getting dressed every day. I want to put jeans on every day. Yeah. That I want to do something. Someday that I want to do shit. Yeah. You know what I've done like twice now? What? Put perfume on. I, I've, I've noticed. You've noticed that. I've complimented. Mm-hmm. I appreciate you taking a pride in your... Fragrant. My smell. Uh, so I'm, I'm attempting to do that. I have not worked out once. I have purchased things to work out. <laughs> they have not come in, but I, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not motivated to work out. It's hard and it was really cold this morning and that was my reason for not because it's in the garage and not temperature controlled. Yeah. And I just, it was a really easy way for me to say I'm not doing this today. I'm definitely eating a lot of comfort food. Oh, we, I could speak to that too. I don't feel bad about though. Like. I'm not gonna punish myself for it. I went to the store this morning. I had to get some stuff for Cran. She needed some essentials. It was time. So I went, basically right when I woke up, I just went to the store. It wasn't bad. It was, I was the first person in line. It was like they let in 25 people at a time or something like that. One thing I uh, felt at the grocery store, I don't know if you felt the same way, but I feel like they've changed the rules. So it's a little bit easier to get some things that you want. Not everything, but that's easier to get certain things than it was a week ago. Oh yeah, like eggs. Yeah, eggs are there. Um, it was to limit two per household. Uh, but when you find something that like wasn't there a week ago, it's kind of like, you know, like finding a discovered treasure. I kind of like, oh yes. Yeah. Like I found a box of mac, and, or five pack of mac and cheese. I felt like I found the new currency for the US. <laughs> this is Chains, by the way. So one of the most productive days that I've had uh, was the day that I put my phone in my nightstand. I think it was from like noon until like six o'clock at night. Was that a conscious decision? Yeah, it was a conscious decision. I just, I felt like I had to like put a, that was my boundary for the day of doing that for myself. And it worked? I, yeah, I thought it was great. I need to do it again. I might do it again tomorrow actually. So I did that, so that way one, I wouldn't be going on the news. Two, I just wouldn't be like glued to my phone all day because that happens to me very, very easily. Now I'm gonna take black eyeshadow and kind of trace out where I wanna add the elf. I'm just that way I'm not putting it everywhere. Why don't we talk about the Tiger King? Oh my God, Tiger King. When I finished Tiger King, I felt really sad. Very sad for the animals. Well, one thing we can agree on is that uh, tigers are beautiful. So pretty. I want to squeeze a tiger paw so bad. I'm gonna put this on now. This is the elf. I can't read the name on the bottom. Black Mar Magic. Oh my God, I need to put this in the crease too, I forgot. Careful now. I did mention it on my stories, but one thing that's really, really been helping me is writing two lists. I wrote a list of everything that I wanted to do, and it was probably like one to two weeks of work. And then from that, I wrote down a list of everything from that list that I wanna do that day. I like that. So I think what I was doing before is I would look at this like really long list that's like two weeks worth of stuff, and I would get kind of overwhelmed. Okay. Uh, and I would look at it every single day and sometimes I get distracted or whatever, you know? When I started doing it the other way, writing a list, I'll do maybe like three to four things that are on that list, write it down on my daily one, and then actually knock it out. And if I wanna go and finish more things, I can do that. That has been like really, really helpful to me throughout this. Can I expand on that? Yeah. I have a lot of the things on my list that physically can't get done. Yeah that's frustrating or it's like I'm waiting on a business that's not in existence right now or there's something that's like I'm, it's out of my control but it still needs to get done. Mm -hmm. 
So what I like to do, kind of like what you're saying, is I like to add easy shit to my list. Uh, uh-huh. Like things that you're going to do either way, you know? Make coffee in the morning or make the bed. I put walk the dogs on my yeah. list. I easy put it on shit my list. because you can cross it off and uh-huh. it, just, it gives you a little bit of satisfaction. You know, you get on this list high. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh-huh. Ooh, I don't think I can do two layers of this, so I'm going to try and work quickly here. So I'm going to let John take over. Okay, so Katie on her retreat that she was on, if you guys don't know about the retreat, there's a podcast that will be linked in the description box down below that talks about the retreat Katie went on. There's a feelings chart that they gave her that lists all the different types of feelings, right? Well, so the, the purpose for that is like a lot of times you ask someone, how are you doing? What's your answer? Good. Good. Good's not like a feeling. Sometimes I say fantastic. But it's usually a lie. Yeah, that's usually a lot. <laughs> you see me in So the other day, it was like two days ago, right? Yep. You were you were super down, and I could tell you were down. And I was like, "How are you doing?" And you were like, "Oh, I'm fine." You said, "I'm fine." Yes. And then what, I think I asked you, right? Like, do you want me to pull out the feelings chart? And you said yes. And I thought it was like the cutest thing ever. It's nice to have the words in front of you, and you go, oh, "I don't feel angry. I don't feel sad. Mm-hmm. I feel confused." It has like all those words on it. I think it's kind of helpful, especially in like you know these times. Where, yeah, where maybe you are feeling something throughout the day and it's like you don't really know what it is. Uh, it's nice to know where your spouse is at, where you're at even. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to verbalize it or even think about it. So mm-hmm. the feeling chart is very helpful. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just bought, um, or I bought a while ago actually a nail drill because we're three and a half weeks in right now on a set and it's not okay. What's so. the standard length? I do every two weeks. Period. Two weeks. I'm doing the Saucy Lashes from Baddie B. These are the same ones I wore in the last video and I thought they were trimmed really well, so. You're conserving lashes. I always conserve lashes, dude. So when I'm adding a little bit more chains in here, I'm just tapping it on instead of buffing. So that way it doesn't disturb the glitter that I already put on. We put a, a microphone next to Turbo because she's snoring. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation today. This is shade Y305. I did self-tan today, like a little bit. So I'm using shade Y305 because of that. What's your usual color? Y244. But this foundation's bomb, especially for something like this. I wanna even out my complexion. I am experiencing a little bit of redness from the treatments that I was doing with my esthetician prior to this. I was doing like a weekly peel which I think it's like a, a retinol mixture. So like my skin was shedding once a week, but it looked so good once it was gone. And I think I'm gonna do the peel cream again tomorrow, so I'm sure it'll get red again, but it has been helping out with the texture so much. But I have also been like really rashy this week, which is kind of weird. Super itchy. I've been itchy, dude. <laughs> I had the other day, I had um, three hives pop up on my face. I haven't had three pop up at once. It's a stressful time you're in. It's a stressful time. <laughs> I'm applying this with the 112 Wavy Brush. This is their Kabuki brush. This portion of the video is sponsored by Makeup Forever to highlight the Reboot Foundation. I'm a huge fan of the brand, so I'm really excited to be working with them, especially for their complexion products, which I love. So this will just get you a nice even coverage, even out the complexion. It kind of looks cozy. My foundation looks cozy? No, the brush. Oh, the, it is cozy. Like it's like a little massage on your face. I kind of want one. Well, don't touch mine. Do you have multiple or just the one? No, this is the one I have. So for this look, I'm gonna do an all over even layer just to kind of even out my complexion. But then because my eyes are so dramatic, I'm gonna go back in and build it up some more. And my favorite way to apply it is to stipple it in. Stipple, stipple, stipple. Then your uh, eyeshadow looks like a poppin. You like it? Period. Take a small brush and just work it right around the brows. This is the final foundation look. Obviously, I still have to do concealer and the rest of my eyeshadow, but I love this stuff. This is the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. I'm gonna leave a link for it down in the description box if you guys wanna go check it out. All right, now I kinda wanna go in with the concealer. This is the Jouer High Coverage Liquid Concealer in the shade Cream. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on on the inner corner and buff it out because I know this one is like crazy full coverage and I'm using a new sponge. John laughed at me when I... <laughs> so tiny. <laughs> there are so many new sponges coming out right now, but I want to try them all because I love sponges. Like I love new tools. I love all of it. I'm here for it. So what's, what's the hype on this one? Well, I just really like the shape of this one. This is a great one from e.l.f., but I've always loved the e.l.f. sponges, like that little trio that they had. So I like this one, the shape and size, and this one's... Pretty similar, this one's a little bit chubbier than that one. And then the Real Techniques, this is the powder one that you use for setting only, which is kind of like, you know, 
a little extra, but I'm okay with that. Who's got the hottest sponge in the game? If my budget only allows for one sponge right now, which one are you recommending? I get that elf one. Okay. Link in description, guys. But I like, um, like for doing the under eyes, because I don't really, I haven't used it for foundation very much lately. I like a, like smaller sponges, or at least really pointy. I feel like I need a little bit um, of pink in here. Just need a little bit of like color corrector, like right. Everybody knows I put on hella concealers. This is light, medium, beige. beige. Oh my gosh, I know you probably think I'm crazy, but I need like a little bit of color correcting in there. If I had this one in a different shade, I would definitely use that right now, but I don't know where it is and this is very time sensitive stuff. I think my under eye circle is like, have gotten a little bit darker in this time, a little bit more pronounced. If I just did a little bit of color corrector under it, I would not have had to do this step that I just did, but this is how it is. Okay, so the powder I'm gonna use is uh, from e.l.f. also. I'm using a lot of e.l.f. stuff today, huh? This is the Halo Glow Setting Powder in the shade Light. I used this the other day and I really liked it, so I'm gonna use it again and press it in. I'm not gonna go all the way up to the under eye because I still need to do my shadow. I just think it looks really pretty. It has a nice finish. You know what I'm struggling with right now? Can I just, full disclosure. Talk to me. Like full disclosure. It's like, I don't want to talk about like quarantine anymore. I did like want to include in this video some tips of like things that I've been doing that have been helping me out. But even that I was just like, oh my God, is that just like talking about it too much? Well, I mean, it's kind of a heavy on everyone right now. It is heavy. So it's like, it's hard to not talk about it at the same time. So that's just how I'm feeling. So I'm almost like, what do we talk about on a podcast if it's not about that? Anyway, that's just like my current like, honest, hey. true feeling right now. I was like, okay, what what do I talk about if that's not what I'm talking about? Blush, what blush did I want to use? I think there's new ones. Standing by, holding for the finger. Don't look at my nails though. So I wore this one the other day and I thought it looked really pretty. This is from Catrice Cosmetics. It called, it's called Mrs. Summer Peach and it looks like this, but it has a little bit of glow in it. Let me just kind of buff this out a little bit. So if I ever go a little bit strong on my bronzer, I just take my foundation brush. I didn't add anything else to it um, and just kind of bounce it in like so. I kind of went everywhere but the pink. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't really matter, but I, I kind of dipped my brush in here and then I'm gonna start stippling it in. It's very cute. I think this blush is pretty old, but you can can you see like the little bit of Sheen and added to the cheeks. Mm -hmm. I'm about to go in with this contour right now. Because I can. Oh yeah, I went a little too far, which is fine. Just take the sponge. I always do it. I have like a prominent bone right here. So when I add contour right there, I like really like hold onto it. I guess we can talk about my fitness studio now, how it's really come along. I didn't use it today because it's recovery day. <laughs> <laughs> I was using a sandbag, like a filming sandbag as a kettlebell, and I was doing um, air jump roping. And <laughs> jump roping with no jump rope, and Steven said, can you not, like please not do that? So he actually donated a jump rope to me, and also a kettlebell, a 25 pound kettlebell. We did curbside pickup. Any other equipment planned, or any other donations that you're looking for? Uh, we are accepting donations in the fitness studio. They are tax deductible. What are we looking for? What type of items? I would like another, either another dumbbell or another kettlebell to make a set. What about like a barbell and some plates? That would be amazing. Like a squat rack. A squat rack would be amazing, yeah. Now I'm like slowly starting to actually adjust to like what this is, you know? I actually have a dinner date. How? With all my uh, old college roommates. We get together every like, actually we've been doing it more and more often. Have you noticed that? Yes. Um, and we were talking about it the other day. We're going to get on a Zoom call, which is like video conference, and we're going to have dinner together. That's adorable. Is that cute? That's cute. So that's something that like, we're going to set aside that time. We're all going to be on our laptop in our kitchen or whatever, and just have dinner together and chat. I did the KKW Nude Lip Liner 1.5. I wanted something kind of warmer than a lot of the ones that I have, which is different for me. And I'm going to use Saucy Gal from Artist Couture, one of their new nudes. All right, and that's it, fam. Say what? Yeah, we got a lot of makeup on right now. So that's it for today's video. Ooh, that is sparkly. This elf stuff is pretty good, huh? Heat. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys, so that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and thank you so much for watching.